How's it going folks? Welcome back to Talking Walls and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. We're back with the transfer news and update video. I uh, hope you guys are keeping well and safe uh, and a lot of rumours to sort of get through, a lot of n uh, news to uh, talk about and uh, you know look at today. Of course Wolves still waiting for another signing. It's getting a little bit frustrating as fans especially as the season draws closer but hopefully in the next few days or so we can start to see some more concrete transfer news and see Wolves hopefully make a move for a new uh, player. But before we kick off, guys, if you guys want to um, show your love for Talking Wolves, uh, we're running in the uh, FCAs, the Football Content Awards this year. Well, not running in it, but we're in the running possibly for an award. Uh, so if you want to vote for Talking Wolves in the Best Premier League Content Creators uh, bracket, you can do so in a couple of ways. Uh, first way being just on the Football Content Awards website, Go on to Best Content, uh, Club Content Creator, talk, uh, Premier League, and type in Talking Wolves. Or if you're on Twitter, I'll leave a link to a click to tweet where you literally click the link. It'll pop up on Twitter and just tweet the following message. So, yeah, I appreciate all your support on that, guys. We did it a few years ago, and hopefully we can push for it once again and get into the finals, which would be another fantastic achievement for Talking Wolves. So... Uh, let's jump straight into the news today. Uh, we saw a article from the Athletic, um, and it was around. Well, it was about really how Wolves were going to approach uh, the rest of this transfer window. Um, of course, towards the start of the window, we saw rumours about Adama Traore and Ruben Neves being the players that had to be sold if Wolves wanted to make any movements. We know that's not 100% true because we have seen a couple of players come in. Uh, but at the same time, we do know Wolves still need to bring a little bit of money in by the looks of it. Uh, so this article by The Athletic by Tim Spears has said, basically, uh, Romain says, as it stands, is someone they may well be looking to move on. Uh, mainly because, you know, he's only got a year left on his contract. At the moment, there's no plans to extend that. So Wolves ideally need to cash in this summer. Um, if uh, Sace goes, obviously the, it's dependent on when Wolves identify another centre-back option, which we know is desperate, especially as Willy Bolly and Jason Mascara are currently injured um, as well. So Adam Troyore and Ruben Neves, as it stands, looking like they're going to stay at Wolves, which is great news, but Wolves very, very uh, much looking to move on. The players like Romain Sace, Rafa Mir, who we'll talk about a little bit shortly, um, Patrick Atrone as well, the BIM rumours about. And another one is Owen Otisawi, a little bit of a shock, this one. Uh, it came out yesterday, I think it was broken by the Telegraph, uh, that Owen Otisawi had rejected a brand new contract deal at Wolves. Um, obviously, recently broken to the US international team, not in their most recent international squad, but last season was part of it. Had little spells under Nuno, uh, had a little... Parts in the preseason. It's said at the moment he's injured, but possibly that's just a cover up for him, maybe uh, moving on. Um, but he was a little bit underwhelming for me in preseason, if I'm if I'm completely honest. And obviously now that he's obviously not wanting to join the uh, or stay with Wolves is a little bit of a surprise. Uh, it said that Wolves are really disappointed that Ottawa has rejected this deal. They believe it was agreeable terms, and now they're possibly looking to move him on. Reports of five to six million pounds for Owen Ottawa. A couple of clubs interested. I think Club Bruges, Anderlecht, Wolfsburg as well. So there's a few teams that are interested in him, and he may well be another one that he's moved on uh, this summer for Wolves. In terms of strikers, now strikers we know, um, like I said, we'll talk a little bit about Rafa Mir shortly. Patrick Catroni, get my words out today, could well be moving on. Another player that has been linked, um, and again, it's just one of those that we seem to see linked quite often. It's Divock Origi. It's said by um, uh, Ekram Konor, who has, uh, has reported a little bit on Wolves before, uh, saying that Wolves have bid £10 million for Divock Origi. However, Liverpool have rejected that and want around £20 million. Uh, this, is, this one's a strange one. I don't know if it's a coincidence, but there was a report earlier in the day. On the This, this report was out yesterday. Earlier yesterday, there was a report about uh, Divock Origi uh, being a target of Wolves. But when you actually looked into it, it they, it, they were referencing really old uh, reports. So this may well just be a coincidence, but maybe it's Ekrem putting his own little twist on it. Um, so we'll keep our eye on it, but I'm not... I'd, I wouldn't hold your breath if you if you wanted to see a Riga at Molyneux. Like I said, I, I wouldn't hold your breath on that one. Uh, Jao Polinia, no, not a real big update on this one, to be honest. But 
Um, it was said in report uh, in reports in Portugal yesterday that uh, João Palinha is someone that may well be sold by Sporting this month. Um, they've got to address their financial situation quite quickly. They have got players that are looking to sell. Mateus Nunez, who I spoke about on our last on the live stream on the last transfer update, looks like he could possibly be going to Everton now. So that's a bit of money for them. But João Palinha is someone that know that they can get money for. There's been loads of inquiries for him. Apparently, Wolves have reportedly offered 15 million euros and. 20 million euros previously. I'm not sure if that was last season or this summer. However, it said that Sporting are hopeful they can hold out for their, the release clause of Palinha, which is 60 million euros, which of course is way out of the budget that you would expect Wolves to be spending on him. And it has been said previously, the only time Wolves would go for João Palinha is if Ruben Neves have sold. And if you're getting 50 odd million for Ruben Neves, you probably would reinvest that in someone like Palinha. So we probably don't need to look into this one either. Um, uh, one that came from France yesterday. Um, Romain Favre, who is currently playing for Brest in, in, in France. He's like a left winger, could play centrally, uh, uh, plays on the wings and centrally. Um, it said the Wolves are one of the teams that are interested in signing the 23 year old. There are some big teams also in the race, PSG being one of those, Sevilla, and a number of German clubs as well. Uh, so he's a very, very highly rated young French midfielder. Um, so yeah, that one out of the blue, really, we've not really seen much of that. That only broke yesterday. Uh, so we'll see if any more information comes from that one. That was, uh, the original source was Le Telegram over in France for that one. Um, a couple of loan deals, which we'll talk about shortly as well. Connor Cody, it said by the ever strange and I don't want to say unreliable football insider uh, that Connor Cody had, well, Tottenham have had preliminary talks with Wolves regarding the availability of Connor Cody and possibly for a transfer. Um, like I said, football insider is such a strange one because they have actually broke a, a decent number of Wolves stories before, um, but they're normally much better at the football league stuff. When it comes to stuff with Premier League clubs, um, it, it doesn't quite work out. So always take uh, I know people always always moan when we post about football insider but they have broken a couple of wolf stories before but Spurs apparently opened prelim talks over signing Connor Cody and talking about Spurs uh, male sports over the weekend a little bit more reliable uh, have reported uh, that Spurs are interested in the Dharma Traore as well of course Nuno could possibly coming back uh, to his old team to um, nick some of our players it said that Wolves value Adama at this current stage at about £45 million. Uh, of course, Adama, as it stands, refusing to sign a new contract. Got two years left on his deal, so plenty of time at the moment. But, of course, Wolves do need to be wary of that contract situation. £45 million. Let me know in the comment section if you think that is an agreeable amount of money. Rafa Mur as well. It said that Jorge Mendes has reportedly offered Rafa Mur to Barcelona, the Spanish giant. Um, it's reported that uh, he did, there was an offer of, of before, but uh, Jorge Mendes has returned to Barcelona to, Barcelona to offer Rafa Mir, um to the, the club again. Rafa Mir, it's no secret, he doesn't want to stay at Wolves, he doesn't want to stay in England, he won't sign a new contract, he's got one year left of his deal, so Wolves have to move him on this summer. Unless Bruno Large can sweet talk him, he will not be at Molyneux this season. Um, and Barcelona would be open to potentially a swap deal if uh, Rafa Mir could agree a move there. So keep your eyes on that one. Once Spain are done in the Olympics, which I think is very soon, Spain are in the final of that. Rafa Mir bagging a hat-trick over the weekend. Uh, we'll see what happens on that one. And a couple of loan deals. The first one being Austin Samuels, apparently uh, set to join Oldham Athletic on loan uh, this season. And the other one, exclusive by Talking Wolves, by myself, uh, broke the news on Sunday evening that Fio Corbiani was going out on loan to Sheffield Wednesday and on Monday morning that move was completed. So a really decent move for Corbiano out in League One. Uh, he could play obviously as a winger or a forward and uh, we could well see him uh, have a really good season, score lots of goals and I think that's a really strong level for him to be playing at which is, uh, which is good. So there are all the rumours for today's video, guys. We're hoping for something more juicy very, very soon. But at the moment, it's still pretty quiet. But we well, I'm fingers crossed. Awake it. Due out any minute now. Maybe in the next day or so. Please give us a surprise signing, Wolves. Uh, until next time, guys, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very, very soon.